Whoa, hey guys, how's it going? Dresher here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to properly play my favorite tank in World of Tanks. However, let's get this down straight away. This isn't some guide on an easy mode tank such as the T-54, the lightweight variants of the T-54, or the T-54 prototype. No, 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 for you see, this is about Chinese tanks. But more specifically, the tier nine medium tank, the Weezy 120, created in Mao's own personal Chinese sweatshop through the blood, sweat, and tears of hundreds of innocent Chinese children living under his reign. The Weezy 120 is the godfather of the T-54 and asserts dominance above all other variants of her kind, with her mighty 122mm gun sporting a hefty alpha damage of 440 combined with 249mm of penetration. The Weezy 120 is a medium tank with a heavy tank's gun, easily capable of out-trading the competition with just pure damage. Premium rounds of the Weezy 120 are heat shells, which boosts the penetration from a mighty 249 millimeters of penetration to glorious 340 millimeters of penetration, enough to penetrate any tank in the game reliably. The HE shells also sport a higher than average penetration amount. While it is not Hesh tier, it is certainly halfway there. At 68 millimeters of penetration with an alpha damage of 530, it is capable of destroying any lightly armored paper tank in the game. However, since Mao lacked foresight, his tank also lacks foresight. By that, I mean it completely lacks gun depression. Unlike every other medium tank in the game which may have upwards of negative 15 degrees of gun depression, the Weezy 120 sports a mighty negative 3 degrees of gun depression. Do not go onto hills, stick to the rice fields. Weezy 120 also sports the worst aim time out of all the tier 9 non-auto-loading medium tanks at a proud 3.4 seconds. Accuracy on the tank is also somewhat bad, but it is still capable of sniping successfully at any range due to the caliber of the shell and the massive penetration that goes along with it. The reload time on the Weezy 120 is also atrociously long, leading to one of the worst DPM out of all the tier 9 medium tanks. A reload time of 10 seconds when properly skilled and equipped, but without them, the reload time can be as long as 15 seconds. Finally, the bloom on the gun is terrible, firing on the move, snapshotting, or anything related to that requires the spirit of Mao's own hand to personally guide the shot into the enemy tank. Anyhow, let's move on to mobility. The mobility of the Weezy 120 is average. It can keep up with every other medium tank at its tier and has no problem traversing with this Chinese hovercraft technology that totally wasn't stolen from the Soviet army, mind you. Now let's move on to the armor. The armor of the Weezy 120 is walking a fine line between Chinese plastic and actual hardened steel. The hull armor is completely garbage and should not be relied on at all. Sure, it's 100mm sloped, but it's not 120mm sloped. Every so often it may save you from taking a hit, but it's not something to be relied on. That means it cannot bounce any guns that have 175mm of penetration, aka your average tier 7 tank's gun. You can of course side scrape fairly well on the Weezy 120 since it has 80mm of side armor, but since your frontal armor is garbage, if you mess up even a little bit, you will be punished harshly. The armor you should be relying on is your turret armor that is up to 220mm of raw, determined thickness in some areas, and can bounce every single gun in the game, regardless of ammo type and caliber, and with just a little bit of luck, with that classic stolen Soviet turret armor, you can do anything. But Dresher, how do I abuse this amazing turret armor if I have no gun depression? Well, you see, young Tonka truck driver, you must abuse the terrain and surroundings. Making use of your Chinese hovercraft technology and Klingon cloaking technology, you can abuse your tank to dish out the damage without having to deal with any threat of return damage. This is typical medium tank gameplay. However, if you wish to play as a heavy tank, you may do so as well. You just have to proceed with caution. Now we will take a gander into what equipment and shell loadout we shall place upon the Weezy 120. We will take vertical stabilizers to help with snapshots and firing on the move. A gun rammer in order to reduce our stupidly long reload time to a reasonable amount. And finally, an enhanced gun laying drive to help with the century long aim time. As for shell loadouts, I prefer a balanced loadout with 20 AP shells, 5 heat, and 5 HE. However, this is entirely your choice. For crew skills, you do repair, camouflage, sixth sense, and safe stowage. After picking these key essentials, you may pick whatever you want. Now get out there and show the world the glory of Chinese plastic. 